Baboom. I would love to call this a crossing blade, but honestly, they're the same damn knife. <laughs> All the only thing that's different between these two is the uh, the steel that's on the knives. But what do we have here? We have my number one work and go-to knife as of recently, the Spyderco Native Fives, and I will try to angle the light in a different way because it is shining off those blades and making everything very washed out so why has the native five been my go-to knife as of recently and why has it pretty much got me to sell almost all my other knives versus this well for one it is a workhorse of a knife it is amazing of a knife this one is an m4 this one obviously does my little bit harder work and this is an s90v this one still will work hard don't get me wrong i've gone through you know lifting straps i've gone through heavy zip ties industrial string zip ties i've gone through some pretty rough and tough stuff with this knife and i haven't had any issue with chipping or anything else and it stays sharp i have not had to sharpen this knife yet and i've had it for a good few weeks now and that doesn't happen. I mean, I've had to strop maybe here and there, um, but that doesn't happen. This knife, I as long as I've had it, and I don't remember how long I've had it for, but um, as long as I've had it, I've already had to sharpen it up twice now. Um, so, you know, and obviously I try to strop it in between, you know, after a few weeks here and there, um, or after a good, you know, few days or once a day or something, depending on how much I use it. Because some days, some days I reach for my knife almost all day long, and other days I barely even touch my knife. It, it just happens in the industry that I'm in. Sometimes I got tons of stuff I got to cut open and do, and other times I have all computer work I have to do. Um, back and forth. Anyways, <clears throat> why is the Native 5 such a good work knife and such a good EDC knife? And as you can tell, I have a Lynch clip here. I just wanted to show you how lynch clips kind of look on these things. They look actually pretty cool. I was actually thinking about putting the lynch clip on this one. Um, this is the bigger, I think. I don't know. I was thinking about getting the short version, but it's a pretty cool clip. Uh, but why have these become my primary? Besides just, like I said, being a workhorse of a knife, they are just really friendly in the hand. I mean, really friendly in the hand. So, got my left hand out because it's easier for me to show the camera. As you can see, with my XL hand, I can actually grab this knife easily. I the the knife end is right here, so my hand is it's gripping this pretty well, and it's got a good grip on it. And I have easily four fingers that fit on it. So for an XL hand, that's great. If I really need extra control, I got the choil here where I can easily choke up on it. And look at that. I got so much more down there. I have all the control I need. Technically, it is a three inch blade, but really you have about two and a half inches of cutting area. So, which is for me fine. I don't find I need more than a three point anything over three and a half to me is now you're just getting into camping territory and there's really no reason for it really under three and a half and over two and a half like two and a half to three and a half for a blade size it to me is perfect um, because you have plenty of cutting area you have plenty of stuff that you need to do. Now, if you're, if you're like me and you're kind of thinking about this knife and you're thinking, oh, it's, it's a lockback, that's old, that's old style. Well, here's the thing. As much as you want to, I'm, I'm pulling this, the S90V version out and I'm pulling in the M4 version because I haven't got to clean up the S90V yet. Um, the M4 I have got to clean up. The thing is, though, is that you can easily slow roll this with one hand, okay? So... You saw that I was able to slow roll it with one hand. I can flick it out with one finger, okay? No issue. 
I can actually reverse flick it if I really wanted to. Um, that's a flex. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not a flex. It's just I'm able. I'm actually I was able to tune this um, just right with some uh, lube and everything that I can actually reverse flick it. Now you're you're sitting here thinking, oh man, every single time you've closed it, you've had to use both hands. Well, I'm going to show you a little something. One, you can actually clip this with one hand, put your finger here, and then you can close it like that. Or what I actually do is I will press down this and let the gravity take the blade. Now, this choil will fit right around my finger. Watch. I'm going to I'm going to use the gravity and the blade. Come on. There you go. See? Fits right around my finger. One-handed open, no issue. One-handed close, no issue. So, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it's it's a little tougher to open. I mean, it's not the same as, you know, I mean, that reverse flick just failed right there. But it's not the same as, you know, some other knives that are out there that are nice and, uh, you know, easy to open. But I have no issue opening it with one hand and then closing it with one hand. I mean, just a little shake and then down. <clears throat> The Native 5, I mean, besides feeling so good in the hand, being a workhorse of a knife, it is, uh, it's made in America, which that always makes me, you know, very happy when you got a knife that is made in America because I feel a little bit better about myself, even though I just talked, had two videos on two Chinese made knives, but we're not going to get into that. Uh, <laughs> but the feeling of the knife, just how it, works together i have two g10 versions i know there's frn versions which i have not used those yet um but they're just a solid feeling knife even though there's no liners on it i mean it's not moving and i'm i'm really pinching it i'm giving it some good good strength and it is not moving at all by any means uh, the s90v i absolutely love this s90v it's I mean, it is just amazing. And it's not that it's more brittle and less tough than other nice steels out there either. Like, people think, oh, it's S90V. It's not that tough. You know what? This is the same amount of toughness as... um, What's that one steel that a lot of people use for... 154CM, was it? Oh no, there's there's a night honestly 20 something like 20 CV 20 CV is not that much tougher. Um 20 CV is only a margin tougher than S90V, but S90V has way more edge retention than than 20 CV. Um I would say M4 is definitely a lot more toughness, um not as much edge retention, but a lot more toughness than S90V. That's why in certain situations I have favored using the M4 version over the S90V version. Um, like, if I'm going out and I'm mowing my lawn, let's just say I'm mowing my lawn, and I have some twigs and stuff that I need to just cut, and I don't have my fixed blade on me, I will have no issue having this in my pocket while I mow the lawn and open it up and cut a few twigs. I've used 20CV to do that, and I have no issue with doing that even with this. I'd even try to do that with the S90V, honestly. And and when the summer comes around, maybe I'll try to give a uh, um, an update on that to say, hey, the S90V is, you know, going really good. The quality, fit, and finish of these knives is just ridiculous. I love the Smooth G10 that both of them have. Um, the feeling that both of them have, the... The solidness in the hand. I mean, it's just, you can't beat it. The If you are on the fence about getting a native five, just do it. I'll tell you. I mean, they don't look as funky as some of the other spider codes. They fit in your pocket. Amazing. Um, if you look at the size comparison of, say, something like the Wii knives that I just reviewed... Um, yeah, it's definitely thicker than that, but the, 
I mean, if you want to take it from here, because that's where the, this has that um, flipper tab, but I mean, yeah, it's still thicker, but not that much thicker. Really isn't. They fit in the pocket great. They feel absolutely awesome. They're amazing to work with. And I'll tell you, Native 5 all day long. These are my these are my go to EDC knife. I use these at my job and everything else. I I absolutely love these knives. Between these knives and that we, um, those have been my main primary knives. If I, you know, and even if I go to a nicer event, I may throw one of these in because I have no issue with these. You know, being a smaller blade and stuff, they're a little more discreet um to cut something you know how i mean look it fits right underneath my finger so if i need to do something you can't see it in my hand just do a little cut go back here you know nobody knows that i even took out a knife spiderco native five i don't know what more there is to say about it you have around a four inch handle around a three inch blade total two and a half they come in all different styles they come in different metals they come in different colors they come in different handles they have salt versions everything else i would love to see k390 and a native five if they had a k390 native five i wouldn't have to switch back and forth between the two i would just carry the k390 and probably be done because the K390 has almost the same edge retention as the S90V and about the same amount of toughness as the M4. Man, the Spyroco Native 5 is an amazing knife. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below if you have a Native 5. Let me know what your favorite Spyderco is. I love Spydercos. I When I first got into knives, I thought they were so funky looking and I never gave them a chance. But... Now that I've owned a few and I realized how good their heat treatment is and they, they probably are some of the best at heat treatments. I've also noticed how good their um, fit and finish quality is and everything else. Uh, you know, I would suggest Spyderco to anybody all day long. Let me know what your favorite Spyderco is. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.